Hello YouTubers. 120 series, 150 series Toyota Prado. CV joints replacing them. Okay. So you can get the old ones out, you can lever them. All right, this is actually in assembly stage now, or nearly finished assembly stage. But I found it very, very difficult to get the back snap ring in to the transaxle housing. And there's, they showed a couple of methods, just like trying to use the, 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 uh, the actual drive shaft as a slide hammer to knock the back one in. And I found it extremely uh, difficult. Anyway, when you're changing the, the drive shafts, of course, you've already taken this part off with the two 19mm bolts underneath, the tie rod and the sway bars off. And this whole lot is over at 90 degrees here. And you pull the old drive shaft out. So it's not too difficult. You, you've taken this nut off. And you pushed this through. Pulled all this round. Got rid of the old drive shaft. So you get to put the new drive shaft in. Okay. That's where the fun begins really. I've changed the seal at the back. We'd already drained all the oil. But I found that I couldn't get that snap ring in, the locking ring at the back. It was a really real, real challenge inside there to get to that drive shaft in. So I come up with the, I come up with a method, my own method of doing it, because I was hammering the end with a, a brass drift and all these kinds of things and stuff, and I just could not get that that snap ring to go in at the back. So I decided that, okay, I'm going to think about how to how using some mechanics on it. Because all the, all the YouTube videos I was looking at, basically, they didn't really mention how to get them in at the back. It sort of mag magically got itself in there. They cut the video in there. So I reckon they had a lot of trouble getting those snap rings in at the back in some ways, or shape or form. Anyway, so basically, I bought, bought this assembly round onto the end of the splines, jacked up the, the lower part the lower part of this, uh, put the two 19s back in, drop the the uh, yeah tie rod end back in, put the sway bar back on. All right. This was floating backwards and forwards. This part. Right. So this was sticking through, and all all this assembly was back on, but the back drive shaft wasn't in. It had I'd slid it in the hole, but the snap ring wasn't in. So I screwed on these, the shoulder bolts for the alloys. Now if you haven't got the alloys, maybe just put a big washer on the standard bolt. And then I've just got a, a pry bar. Put the pry bar against the shoulder of that washer and pressed the middle of that drive shaft. And it just popped on so easily without this nut. And then I just screwed the nut on. And it was like happy days. I didn't have to hammer anything. So if you're having trouble getting those snap rings in, I hope this helps.